everyone, Amy here, and today we are going to learn 16 tips and tricks so that you can learn how to use Microsoft Loop effectively across all of the apps. We have six minutes, so let's nerd out. Okay, so here we are in Loop, and at Amy's Animal Shop, we are expanding our operations to open a dog training studio in the building next door. Now, Microsoft Loop is designed to be a collaborative app, and one of the main components or features is a loop component. A loop component is something that can be collaborated with a team and updated in real time. So for example, we can copy just this portion of this loop page and we can select create a loop component. Alternatively, we can just create a loop component from this whole page and share that with the team. This loop component can then easily be pasted into an email. And if you don't like this whole loop component being embedded, then you can just click here on the hyperlink and then go to link styles. And if you want to change it to a link, then you can change it like that. Alternatively, you can even change it back. And a newer feature is that this loop component can even be added to a chat within Microsoft Teams. And now that we have this loop component sent in an email as well as in Teams, when we update this, for example, we'll just click in here and we can just paste that. And we're gonna notice that it's updated here. It has also updated in that loop component that is sent in an email. And you can see that Amy is working on that right here. She's also working on it in another location here as well as here. So when you are working on the same loop component with multiple team members, then you can easily see where everyone is working in real time. And here we are within the loop browser. And we can see that this has further been updated in that real time. So this is literally happening in seconds. There's really no delays, which is a really great feature. I just wanted to go back to Teams, and this is also a possibility within Outlook as well. But if you are not really enjoying the layout of editing this loop component within the chat, then you can just select this title of the loop component, and you'll see that it's giving you the option to open in the browser. Another great addition to chat within Teams is the ability to add a loop component right from the chat area here. So we can just simply insert a checklist and then everyone can start to collaborate in real time, just as we saw this loop component up here update. So you have this loop component right at your finger fingertips when you are chatting within Teams. Now the exact same feature is available within Outlook. So You'll see here that I've clicked in the body of this email and this loop components is available at the top. So you can easily select any of these options that you want and then that's going to create a loop component. Now notice that when you're clicked in the subject or any of these fields, or even if you are in the signature area of this email window, then this loop components is going to gray out. So just make sure that you are clicked within the body of the email in order for that loop components button to show and populate. Another great feature within Loop is the ability to easily comment and collaborate with your team. So I'm going to tag myself here. And if you are enjoying this video, then I would absolutely love it if you could give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. It would mean a lot to me. Now these comments are awesome because I really just love how the notifications are set up. So you'll see here in my inbox, that I've been notified immediately that I have tagged or mentioned myself within this loop component. And additionally, if you head up to the top, you're gonna to see this notifications icon. If you click there, then you can see that I've been mentioned again. So this just allows you to easily see where you are at uh, within loop, but right from your Outlook dashboard. So super cool. Now, one of my favorite new releases for Microsoft Loop is within Teams and in the calendar area. So let's start a meeting and we'll give this a quick title. And if you scroll down to the bottom here, you're going to see this add an agenda that others can edit. So if we click on that, then you're going to see a loop page or a loop component pop up and you'll notice right away that that title has already been updated to the name of this meeting. Another great feature that I like here is that if you want to hide these notes when you send out the invite, then you can easily just toggle that off. Um, I personally think it's a great idea to leave this open and then that way that everyone can collaborate in real time. 
Then if you want to easily access these notes, you can open this in the browser and you can even move it to a workspace. So we'll just move it to that workspace OSWA. The next integration that I love with Loop is its ability to integrate with Planner or To Do. So you'll see here that we have this task list and we have myself assigned to all of these items along with the due date. Now I can easily go into my own planner and open this, or you can select this handy dandy drop down and you can easily navigate to planner or to do whatever is your preference. So here we have planner open and you can see that these items are already showing up. And if I go to assign by me, then they're showing up there as well. And if I mark it as complete here, then when we head back into loop, we can see that that has completed in loop as well. So it's updating literally in seconds so that all of your team can collaborate and see exactly where you are at. All right, so that wraps up this video and I do hope that I've helped you discover your inner nerd today. Let me know what feature you find the most helpful or what feature would you like to see from Microsoft Loop in the comments below. All right, we'll catch you next time.